what we need now is to be able to delete a particular record and this will be easy to do. So if I come to my uh, model and we have all this content here, but uh, let me copy what's inside the insert and come to my delete and paste. Okay, so here we just have the ID over here and this makes the easiest thing to do. So the delete query is simple. It's like delete from and then you have your table and then you say where and then you specify a column. In our case, it's ID is equal to ID. We say limit one, but we'll leave the limit just in case you want to delete multiple records. So this is easy enough. Uh, let's get the table and replace it. So from table, where ID, ID, everything else remains the same. So I'll cut this out and put it right here. So delete from this table where, boom, 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 boom. Okay, good. Now, once we do that, we can uh, run the query. We don't need the data. So we're just going to, oh yeah, we do need the data. So here what I'll say is data ID is equal to, and then we add the supplied ID and that's it. So this is how we delete a record. So let's test this out in here. I'll remove all of this here because I do not need it. Boom. Let's mute the updates. Let's release the Kraken. Okay, so ID here is ID number three. And yeah, so let's delete and then let's read from the database. So I'm going to refresh my page and you see that the third item is gone. So it's as simple as that to delete things here. So now that we have this, we have a complete set uh, of we have a very robust way of reading from our database because we can either use these uh, or we can run an actual query just like we have in the database here where there is query. Okay, so good, good, good. I will close the model and I will close the database. We don't need any of this and the auto load as well. So let's deal with the uh, controller here. Alrighty then. So remove this. Actually, we can remove all of these here, except the find O, like so. Okay, so back here, refresh, we have all that. That is nice. Okay, since we have all this working now, let's uh, begin uh, designing our home page. Before I actually go, let me deal with the thing I was talking about here at the top there. We, we, we want to go to the login page so that we can begin logging in and all that. So user, I'll move this to the corner. So let's go to our no views and go to our nav bar inside includes nav right here. Okay, so this thing uses a flexbox. So flexbox, um, let's see, these are link items here. Now I want to move this particular item to the other side. So let me try a few styles here. MX is the uh, M is the margin, so I want the margin on the left, which is the start, to be automatic. Now let's see, auto, refresh. Okay, so nothing happened, right? Okay, so there's an, an ordered list here. So I'm just going to copy this odd, an ordered list. Let me remove that. Okay, I'll leave it there for now. So I'll put that here, copy the unordered list here and put it there. So we've closed this chapter here and opened it again over here. Okay, uh, which is that one there. 
Okay, so we have two lists here. That's nice. And let's refresh. Okay, we don't see a difference. Now we can move this list to the other side. So if I get this MS Auto, I can add it here instead. I think it should work now. Okay, so there we go. We have the thing on the other side where there will be a user's name. Now this thing is not doing very well because it's hiding on the other side. So let's change this to justify to the other side. So right here, I'm just going to say, um, I think there's a class called drop down. Mm, what is it called? Drop down, right? Let's see, content, right? Or oh, should be, hmm, let's see what that does. Nah, it doesn't work. Let's try left here. Oh, actually it's not right and left, it's start and end. So let's do start because that was changed to start and end. Okay, so that doesn't work and let's try end. Let's see if that works. Refresh. No, it doesn't work. Okay, so in a case where it doesn't work, you go to your bootstrap documentation. So hopefully I have, yeah, there we go. So let's go to the nav bar down here. And let's look at where we have the list over here. Mm, let's see, nav divider, drop down. There was one which was on the other side. Let's see for a second here. Okay, there we go. So, oh, I think it's menu. Wait, wait, wait. Menu. Sorry about this. Uh, let's see, justify. Yeah, didn't work. Okay. Let's move it to this div that contains the small menu itself. So move that. Let's move it to right there. Okay. And let's try one more time, fingers crossed. Ah, there we go. Awesomeness. Now we can see all of it. Very cool. And then slight changes here. I like it when uh, these guys over here are similar size. So let's just fix that real quick. Right here in the nav uh, hover. Let's make one without the hover. So I'll move this down here and then let's remove the hover here. And then what I want to do is say um, width 100 pixels. Let's see if that works. Okay, they have moved. Uh, and then let's change the text align uh, to center. Okay, let's see that. Okay, very good. Let's add a little bit of a slight border. So I'll say border left, uh, solid, thin, CCC, E, D, E, D, 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 something like this. And then let's put E here, E, 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 close to white. Let's change this to the right side. Okay. So back here, hmm, why is the padding, okay, that's because uh, it's too low. So let's try 110, some of the text is big, okay, but the stuff is too bright, so E, this one is close to F, so let's try F and E. I just want the lines very, very barely visible, okay. Something like that. All right, I think that's cool. And we have that as well. Boom, boom. Okay, so this is all good. Now we can go to our home page itself and remove this print readable here, out. And then let's remove uh, this is home. Boom, let's remove that as well. So we can have a clean slate. So a refresh and there we go. So. Everything is good now. We can begin with our login thingy. This is how it look like. Yes, very, very nice. So next video, we do our login session. All right, I will see you then.